boy, I started playing Doom, and I was like, this it's over. That was the, the first, like, real 3D shooter game that just captivated 93, me. 93, that was almost 10. That was 93? Think about, you know, a video game is an incredible tool for training the mind. Sure. Right? It trains you to just precisely time things, to mm -hmm. have yourself in this mindset, to know exactly where you are in the game, to remember a sequence of moves, whatever it is. It's an incredible training engine because the incentive structure is there so that you want to get to the next level, right? Mm -hmm. It's like what school should be doing, except what does it train you to do? You're investing your ability to train your own mind into something that is guaranteed to be obsolete. Mm. That's not a good use of your time, even though I totally, you know, I did play video games. But the, I, you know what the argument against that is? The same argument against chess. So chess obviously trains the mind to be stronger and more effective in many other areas of life. One of the things they found about video games is surgeons in particular that play video games have 25% less errors. Mm. Well, that makes sense. Is that the number? That was the number, right? It was like 25%? So However. High number. But imagine that you decided to leverage that. That in fact, I mean, my feeling is school ought to look like a bunch of fun exercises and activities and puzzles that cause you to want to do it. It shouldn't have to be school. We shouldn't have to make you go. It should be structured so that you want to be there because it's it, exciting. it draws you in. And so a video game, I'm not against them in principle because a video game could train you to do something or to think about something in some incredible way.